Hey there guys, I'm back to another game review. Today we'll be taking a look at Jackbox Party Pack 4 on PC. The Jackbox Party Pack games are probably the best party games around. It's not only because these games are great, but because the controllers required for each game is just a device with an internet browser, preferably a smartphone. With the release of the fourth installment in the Jackbox Party Pack series, how does this one hold up against the rest? Out of the five games in this party pack, four of them are new. The returning game, Fibbage 3, is a game about filling in the blank to trivia questions while trying to find the right answer. If you find the right answer, congrats, you get a lot of points. If you find the wrong answer and answer inputted by one of the players, you'll be giving that respective player points. Fibbage 3 is like all the other Fibbage installments, except there's new prompts and a brand new look. Never been a huge fan of Fibbage, but this is still a solid game in this pack. The next game is Survive the Internet. This game will ask each player to answer a question about a certain topic. Then those answers will be used by another player to twist these answers in the most absurd way possible. Then everyone votes on which one is the craziest pairing. Essentially, you're creating fake news from other players. This game only works if the players are being honest with their answers. If not, the game won't really work. But when all the pieces are put together, this game is really good. Probably the best game on this party pack in my opinion. The next game comes at a close second, Monster Seeking Monster. This game has each player disguised as a monster with a special ability. Each round, the player has four messages to send to the other players. Once all the messages are sent, each player will have to pick another player to date. If both players date each other, they'll each earn a heart. The player with the most hearts by the end of the game wins. Also, at the end of each round, the player that's in the lead will have their power revealed to everyone. After this round, the highest player, whose power is still a mystery to everyone, will be revealed next. Me describing this game, it probably sounds like crap, but when you actually get a chance to play this game with your friends, you'll see how troll and funny this game can get. The fourth game on this pack is Bracket Tier. All of the players will be given the same prompt and have to answer it in the best slash funniest way possible. Then the answers will be matched up against the other player's answers. The player will be tasked to bet on one of these matches to get more points. Points. The higher percentage of each round will win. If there is a tie, the players will have to tap on their devices as fast as possible to break the tiebreaker. The winner at the end will receive additional points. The next round is a blind bracket, meaning that the player's answers will be completely unrelated to the bracket prompt. So for example, in this video you see that we will answer uh, any turn-ons, but the bracket is actually on the most impressive skill to put on your resume. I can't imagine the other combinations that this game has to offer. Then the third round where the bracket prompt changes at each level. The player with the most points by the end of the game wins. Bracketeer is surprisingly really good. Didn't expect this game to be as good as it was. Mixing up the bracket slash prompts past the first round was a smart idea by the Jackbox team. Adding this kind of surprise factor into the game. If they didn't do this, Bracketeer would get stale very quickly. The final game in this pack is Civic Doodle. Different from the other drawing games in the Jackbox series, Civic Doodle will pick two players to draw simultaneously. Once the timer is up, players will vote on which drawing is better. Once the better drawing is voted upon, two new players will be chosen to continue the winning drawing. The player with the higher score at the end wins. Like I said, this game is very different from past drawing games in the Jackbox series because the players will be drawing at the same time and the players will have to add on an already existing photo. I'm not a big fan of this game. It's not my least favorite game within this party pack, but it's definitely my least favorite drawing game from the Jackbox series. Maybe I need to play it a couple more times because, well, I sucked. So yeah, that is Jackbox Party Pack 4. Is this the best Jackbox Party Pack ever? Not necessarily. I'll still give that crown to Jackbox 3 because every single game on that pack was really good. On this pack, there are definitely some outstanding games like Survive the Internet and Monster Seeking Monster. But the low balls like Civic Doodle just make this pack that short from being the best Jackbox Party Pack ever in my opinion. But still, this pack is fan Fantastic. If you enjoyed the previous Jackbox Party Packs and want to add four new additional games onto your lineup, go right ahead. But if you never played a Jackbox Party Pack game before, 
this is still a solid starting point. So yeah, have you played Jackbox Party Pack 4 yet? Are you going to pick this game up after this review? Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. So yeah, that is about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have not already, you can subscribe. I put new videos up every single Saturday. Want to follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter, you can do that as well. And yeah, I think that is about it. Thank you guys for watching this video again. I'll see you guys next time with more videos. Game on, gamers.